Hello friends and welcome to a new video. We are going to build a Twitter bot which is going to tweet every morning a good morning message. So make sure to hit the subscribe button and enjoy the video. All right, so in order to create our node application or our, our Twitter bot, we need to create a Twitter application on the developers platform. Go to developer.twitter.com and here under developer portal, we can, uh, yeah, you can see I already have some some uh, applications created, uh, but there you can create a new application. Just give it a name and click on next. And you will be already prompt the API keys, which we will be needing later. But before we uh, copy them, we need to add one more thing. So here under the user authentication settings, we have to set up the authentication permissions. All right, so type of app, we can simply say automated app or bot, because that's what it's gonna be. And here the important step is under app permissions, set the permissions to read and write. So we can actually, yeah, tweet with our profile. All right, uh, as a callback URL, you can simply use your local IP address. Uh, you can yeah, get it from your terminal if you type in IP config or if config, I guess. All right, as a website URL, just yeah, I'm just using my website. Okay, and save that. So the client ID and the secret we won't be needing. We can simply click on Okay, um, and now important is to, since we changed the, the settings, we need to regenerate the API key secret and token. All right, but uh, before we do that, let's create our node application. So in the terminal, let's create a new directory. Let's call it DOM spot, CD into that. And here we can initialize our npm project with the command npm init-y. So this will create our package JSON. And we are ready to add the module which we are going to use, which is um, this module here, which is called Twitter API version 2. So that's pretty handy to communicate with the Twitter API. All right, so we can actually copy this command here from the website and install it right in our uh, project. Okay, and once we have done this, we can open up uh, our project in a text editor. So this is how our project structure looks right now. So we have the node modules and we have the package JSON file where our module is uh, added. Okay, so let's start by creating our Twitter client, which we are going to use later to uh, perform our tweets or, yeah. So let's create a new file. Let's name it Twitter client because that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> and here we can say, or here we can require the module and say const Twitter API require Twitter API v2. So now we need to instanti instantiate a new Twitter client. Let's say client is new Twitter API client. Here inside we now need to pass the keys and the tokens. So let's prepare that. We are going to need the app key, app secret, the access token, as well as the access secret. So back in our dashboard of the application, we now can regenerate the keys and copy them into our application. And the same thing we're gonna do for the access token and the secret. So here, let's generate them. 
copy them into our client. All right, and now before we are gonna export this client, we have to say that we wanna use the read write permissions. So create a new cons called RW client. It's gonna be the client with the read write permissions. And now just simply export it just like that. So we can use it in our node application. Okay, so this looks good. So now we can create our index.js where all the magic is going to happen. And the first thing we're gonna import here is the, yeah, the Twitter client which we just created. All right, just like that. And we are good to go now to create our tweet functionality. So let's create a new function, which will be named simply tweet. It has to be async since we are performing asynchronous uh, methods. And yeah, we can, we can wrap it in a try catch block. So if we do get any errors, we can log them to the console. And here we're gonna say, or we're gonna await our client to perform the tweet method. Here inside we can pass now our, yeah, our good morning message. So let's say, good morning, friends. All right, and the last step we need to add is, uh, we actually need to call the function And yeah, let's test that. We can open up the terminal. Here we say node and select the file, which is index.js and hit enter. And as we already don't get any errors, we can be sure that this worked. So let's check my Twitter profile. And as we can see, we tweeted good morning friends. All right. So this is the first step. We created the functionality to, yeah, to perform a tweet, or to, to create a tweet, and to perform a tweet. Uh, yeah, and now we wanna uh, make this tweet happen like on a sp specific time. So for that we can, uh, yeah, let's command it out. Uh, we can create a cron job. So a cron job is actually, yeah, a task which will be performed every, uh, every certain time which we can configure so for that we are going to use a module which is called simply cron so let's install it with npm which worked very well and and now we have to require it in our application so let's say const cron job require cron and cron job. So this is the uh, cron job method. And now we can create a new job, which is, yeah, let's say new cron job. So the first um, param that we are passing here is the cron time. So here we can set the, the time when it has to run. So we can pass six um, options. It's like seconds, minutes, hours, the day, month, and the year, okay? So if we would let it uh, like that, this job would perform every second. Um, as we don't wanna perform it every second, we can say simply, we can remove the seconds. And we wanna perform this tweet like at 5 a.m. So we can say for minutes to be zero and hours to be five. So this job will now start every time or every day at 5 a.m. All right, and as a second 
param we can pass a callback function and all we got to do here inside is to call our tweet method all right and the last step we need to do is actually to make job start and yeah when we run the application now nothing is going to happen because yeah our job will perform at 5 a.m in the morning um, yeah so in order to test it we can now uh, change this settings here to yeah to perform this job every minute so let's set it to this uh, options and let's start our application and now we have to wait a minute and wait a second let's add a console log so we can be sure that that our cron job is running okay so let's start our application and let's wait a minute And there we go. So we locked cron job starting and yeah, we don't get any errors. We could actually add something like a success log, but let's check our Twitter or my Twitter. And there we go. There is our tweet. So our cron job works perfectly. And yeah, that's it. So I really hope you like this video and I hope you can do it by yourself and let me know what you think. Did you like the video? Write a comment, hit the like button and see you in the next video.